And we know the scripture very well. Um, we know that this was in the time of Ahab. We know that Ahab was a wicked king. He married Jezebel, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, and he allowed Jezebel to influence him. Mm -hmm. And um, through Ahab, praise the Lord, the children of Israel forsook God. They forsook his commandments, mm -hmm. praise the Lord, and they went to serve Baal. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. And here in the scripture we see that in verse 19, um, 450 of Baal prophets gathered on Mount Carmel um, to confront, in confrontation with the prophets of God, Elijah. Praise the Lord. And Elijah says to them, um, how long are you going to halt between two opinions? If God be God, then serve him. If Baal is, be is God, then serve him. Praise the Lord. And then as we go into the scripture, we see that in verse 23, Elijah gives them a challenge. Amen. Praise the Lord. And he says to them, uh, let them therefore give us two bullocks mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood. And the stipulation here was that they should put no fire no, 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 under fire. it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he says, I will do the same. I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and I will put no fire under it. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And then in verse 24 it says, and you call on the name of your God and I will call upon the name of the Lord Amen. and the God that answers by fire let him be the God Amen. praise the name of the Lord Hallelujah. praise the Lord and we, we know the story well and it goes down to verse 26 and they took the bullock which was given they dressed it and they called on the name of Baal Amen. and of course there was no voice no sound or none that answered Praise the Lord. So they got desperate. They leapt on the altar. And in verse 28 it says, And they cried aloud and cut themselves off of their manner with knives and lashes. Um, but still, there was neither voice nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. Praise the name of the Lord. And I can say, we can say, thank God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because we're not serving a dead God. Amen. But we're serving the true and the living God. Amen. This is why we can have confidence Amen. in our God. Amen. Because he is the true and living God. Amen. We know the scripture it tells us the God of the nations. They are idols, but yeah. our God, he made the heavens and he made the earth. The scripture yeah. tells us that he is the God of all gods. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. In Psalms 21, we are told that he is a God that never slumbers, nor does he sleep. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is, his ear is open and he is attentive to our cry. Praise the name of the Lord. So we, when we call on him, he hears us. Amen. Not like the bell prophets now. When they called, there was no answer. There was no sound. There was none that regarded. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But thank God that when we call on the name of our God, he hears and he answers. He has given us the confidence of his word when he tells us that before we call he will answer and while we are yet speaking he will hear us praise the name of the lord and i i saw a verse i love the verse in jeremiah 33 i think verse 3 says when um jeremiah was locked up in the prison the lord said to him call on me and I will answer you and show you great and marvelous things. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm just reminding us of why we can put our confidence in our God because he is the true and the living God. So let's go back to the scripture. So we see, we see um, Elijah now, verse 30, and it says, and he repeated the altar of the law that was broken down 
praise the Lord in verse 33 it says and he put wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on wood and said, said fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood and he did not did this not just once not just twice but three times mm -hmm. verse 34 says and he said do it the second time and they did it the second time and he said do it the third time and they did it the third time mm -hmm. and the water ran round about the altar mm -hmm. and he filled the drench also with water mm -hmm. praise the name of the lord mm -hmm. so we see that the sacrifice and the wood was soaked yeah. with water, was drenched yeah. with water. Yeah. Why did Elijah do this? Yeah. Praise the Lord. To show them that God yeah. is a God who is able to do the impossible. Yeah. Because how can you bring light of fire on dead wood? Mm -hmm. It's not possible to do that. But God, yeah. praise the name of the Lord. So we see that he did that so that the bell prophets couldn't say, well, you know, you've done some trickery or some, some fraud. You know, he, he put the situation where it was impossible yeah. for fire to come. Because yeah. you can't put fire on wet wood. Yeah. 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 It, it won't ignite, there won't be any fire. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And then in verse 36 it says, and it came to pass at the eve, time of the evening offering that Elisha called on the name of his God. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And we notice there that there was no dramatics. Mm -hmm. You know, there was no, you know, leaping or whatever. No hype. No hype. <laughs> no drama. Yeah. 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 No commotion. <laughs> no commotion. He just called so with confidence. <laughs> Amen. 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 He called with confidence yes. on the name of the Lord. Yes. And why could he be confident? Because he knew what he was doing yes. was according to God's will. Yes. Yes. It was in line with the purpose of God. Amen. This is why he was so confident. Yes. Yes. Praise the Lord. And he know, knew that what he was doing was for the glory Absolutely. of God. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says, hear me, O oh Lord, hear me that this people may know that thou art the Lord God. Then mm. it says, Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And then the, when the people saw it, they said, The Lord, he is the God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So why did I read all of that? Praise the Lord. And it's just to say, and this is the theme that was it that the Lord put in my spirit. Praise the Lord. Elisha called mm -hmm. on the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And God answered by fire. Amen. He sent the fire mm -hmm. down from heaven. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. And I thank God that we are serving the same God, Amen. the God of Elijah, that when we call, Amen. that God will answer us by fire. Amen. He will send the fire Amen. down from heaven. Amen. And we're not talking about the natural fire, Amen. praise the Lord, but we are talking about the fire Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, I look there in, in, in um, I think it was Luke, Somewhere where um, John the Baptist was saying that um, I baptize you with water, mm -hmm. but there's coming one who is mightier than me who is going to baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Praise the name of the Lord. This is the same fire that came down on the day of Pentecost. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise be to God and cause the apostles to turn the world upside down. Praise the name of the Lord because the fire came. And we sung the song. Let the fire 
fall on me, dear Lord. Let the fire fall on me. Let the fire from heaven fall on me. Praise the name of the Lord. It's just the thought in my spirit is that we need to call on God to send the fire. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. To send the fire of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We're talking about confidence. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We're talking about that when we call, um, when we pray according to the will of God, Amen. that He will answer us. Yeah. It says that we already have the things that we are praying about. Yeah. So we see here that we can be confident yeah. in prayer. Yes. Amen. Amen. It is God's will for us to have the fire. Yes. Fire in our individual lives. Yes. Fire in the church. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I was listening to something and it was saying that um, when the fire is not there, people come into church and go out the same. Mm -hmm. Because the fire is not there. But we need uh, the fire. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, amen, is here with us today. Praise the name of the Lord. So I then ask myself the question, why do we need the fire? Why is it so important? Um, our sister's talking about um, transcending into the to be in a manifestation, you know, and sometimes, you know, when we, 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 you know, we're in the place where when the fire comes up, when the rain comes down, everybody gets wet. <laughs> you know, when the fire is there, everybody has an experience of it. But we need to possess the fire. Praise the Lord. The fire needs to impact our lives. We know that the Holy Spirit, different symbols are used for the Holy Spirit. And one of them is fire. Praise the name of the Lord. So, um... When I ask myself the question, why do we need the fire? Praise the Lord. And I've got here, as we know, the fire comes to burn up the dross. Yeah? To burn up the dross out of our lives. We sing the song, burn the dross out of me. Send the fire down from heaven. Burn the dross out of me. And you know, I thank God that um, we come to church and we come to church to rejoice. We come to clap our hands. We come to give God thanks, you know. Um, but we come that we should, should be made, you know. God wants to do a work in our lives. The work doesn't stop. Paul said to the Philippians, being confident of this very thing, that he that has begun a good work in you, he will perform it until the day of his coming. So we come through baptism. Praise the Lord. But it, do, it doesn't stop there. That is just the beginning. Yeah. So when we come to church, we come to hear from God. We come to hear a word that is going to wash us, that is going to cleanse us. That is going to do that work Amen. within us. So the fire comes to burn out the dross. Amen. The fire comes to remove all impurities. Amen. It comes um, to remove corruption, defilement, sin. Amen. It comes to destroy the stronghold Amen. of the flesh. Amen. The fire comes to sanctify us, Amen. to set us apart Amen. unto God's glory. Amen. Oh, bless the Lord. When we come into church, we need to come into the fire. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We need to expose ourselves to the fire. That God can do that work of purification, work of cleansing, work of sanctification. Bless the name of the Lord. We don't want to be going on for years and for years and for years and nothing is done. We're still in the same place that we was 10 years ago. 
Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Praise be to God. We need the fire. The fire comes to transform us from the inside. Amen. Amen. Now, sometimes we worry very much about what the outside looks like, but until the work is done on the inside, it will not affect what the outside looks like. Amen. So we need to come into the fire that God will do that work. Amen. Oh, on the inside that it makes be seen on the outside. Amen. Praise the Lord. And if I just go back to verse 38 of the scripture, it says, Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the sacrifice. Amen. So the, the fire comes to consume us. Amen. Yeah? Um, just imagine that it's us on the altar mm. yeah mm. we are the living sacrifice yes. that is on the altar mm. of god mm. so he wants to send the fire to consume mm. us mm -hmm. um i looked up the word what does consume mean mm. it means to burn mm -hmm. it means to reduce to ashes mm -hmm. So everything that is not profitable mm -hmm. in our lives, everything that is of no value, mm -hmm. everything that doesn't bring God glory, everything that is not of God, mm -hmm. He wants to reduce it mm -hmm. to ashes. He wants to burn it up, burn up the self-life, burn up the self-confidence, burn it up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. By the fire Amen. of his Holy Spirit. Amen. He wants to reduce it to ashes. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I remember Isaiah 61, where it says, He will give us beauty for our ashes. Amen. So we can bring our ashes, Amen. the ashes of our lives and Trade it, mm -hmm. give it to God, mm -hmm. and He will give us the beauty the Lord. of Amen. Jesus Amen. Of the Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Why do we need the fire? Why is it so important? Glory. Praise the Lord. We got that up there. He makes His ministers mm -hmm. a flame mm -hmm. of fire. So that is. That is God's intention mm. for us. Mm. That is his purpose mm. for us, to make us a flame mm. of fire. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. Praise be to God. And I've got here, we need the fire because God wants to set us ablaze in order to destroy the works of darkness. Mm. Mm. Fire is destructible it's, it destroys yes. it's a de formidable force yes. and that's what God wants to make us yes. against the forces of darkness yes. that we the, his spirit his fire in us and through us will destroy the works of darkness we remember um, Elisha um, and the enemies came against him and Elisha said, if I be a man of God, then let fire come down and consume you. And fire came down and consumed the enemies. Yes. Praise the Lord. And so it is. God wants to make us a blaze. Yes. Praise the Lord that through us, he will destroy the works of the enemy. Yes. The ills in our society. Yes. Depression, addiction. Yes. Oh, bless the Lord. Abuse. Yeah. All these things, alcoholism, mm -hmm. drug addiction, yeah. all of these things yeah. are the works of the devil. Yes. Yeah. Sickness, mm -hmm. mental health mm -hmm. conditions, all these things, mm -hmm. depression, all these things mm -hmm. are the works of the devil. Yes. And God wants to use us, yeah. the fire in us, mm -hmm. to destroy mm -hmm. the works of the devil mm -hmm. praise the name of the lord mm -hmm. um we need the fire because it empowers us mm -hmm. for service mm -hmm. we have been given a great commission mm -hmm. go out into all the world preach the gospel heal the sick raise the dead mm -hmm. 
Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We need to be empowered with the fire of God. Mm -hmm. um, praise the Lord. In order to do service for him. Praise the Lord. God wants to ignite us with the fire of his love. <coughs> so that his love can flow up from us mm -hmm. to others. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And I was thinking how we are living in the Ladocian church age. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. And we know what the scripture says about this age. It's a lukewarm age. Praise the name of the Lord. It's an age where people are apathetic. People are sleeping. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't quite know what to do about their priorities and how to prioritize God. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. We're living in that age. So we need the fire to energize us, mm -hmm. to keep yeah. us alive. So we don't become apathetic. Yeah. We don't die. Yeah. Our light doesn't go dim. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord, but that we are kept alive mm. through the fire of God that we are hot. Mm. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. And Amen. not lukewarm. Amen. Praise the Lord. He wants zeal to be burning mm. in our hearts. Mm. Zeal. Zeal for souls. Amen. Zeal for his work. Mm. Zeal to labor. I love the way um, I see every, I said to Sister um, Kayla today, every time I come here, you're working. <laughs> I said to Pastor Hussle, you know, God has sent us a laborer. Yes. Praise, oh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. You want that zeal. That whatsoever our hands find to do, we will do it. We won't wait for somebody to tell us to do it. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Praise be to God. And I've got here, when fire is inside of you, you feel it. You can't keep still. You can't keep silent. Because fire is in you. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, you, you have to be active. Yeah. Yes. You have to do something. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you have to go out and tell somebody about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord because fire is in you. You feel the fire. Mm -hmm. The fire is motivating you. The fire is giving you passion yeah. to do things yeah. oh. for the Lord. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. When fire is in you, you won't Still keep Lord. silent. Still Lord. Still Lord. Jeremiah tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't he try it? <laughs> he said, I'm not going to speak anymore. Because yeah. anytime I speak, these people, you know, persecute me. I'm going to speak. But then he said, I felt like fire shut up in my bones. So he couldn't be silent. He had to open his mouth. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Praise be to God. We need the fire. We all need the fire. Brothers. Indeed, when I was looking at the scripture, I, I was really mindful of our young people. You know, we see what God is, is doing in their lives, that God is raising them up, God is bringing them in. Thank God for you, sister Zafia. God is bringing you in. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank God for you, brother Dante. Thank God for you, brother Theo, brother Daniel, sister Michaela, sister. Alicia, thank God for you, young sister Danica. Thank God for you, brother Joshua, sister Janique. All our young people, God is raising you. Hallelujah. Soon we're going to have to pass on the baton to you. Hallelujah. I always remember my mother flowers. That was one of her favorite things about yes. passing on the baton. And you know, I'm I'm 60 odd years old, so I'm thinking, yes, Lord. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know what made my day is up, but I, I'm conscious <laughs> that I'm conscious that I have an appointed time. You know, and that some and, and I'm saying, Lord, let me pass on the baton. Oh, yeah. oh, bless the name of the Lord. So we want our young people, God, to raise them up. God, to put fire in them. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Put fire in them. Put fire in them now. Put fire in them. Yes, for our God. Yes, oh, bless the 
name of the Lord. I think in a verse in Isaiah said a smoking flax. Bruisery will not quench. No, and a, a bruise ring will really not break, break. And, a and a smoking flat will really not quench. Really not quench. Yeah? And sometimes we see our, our young ones, they've got a little fire, a little fire going, a little smoke going. You know, you know, they haven't got everything right. No, they haven't. But we see something happening. Oh bless the Lord. We don't want to quench the fire. We don't want to put out the fire. Desired of him. Amen. Praise the Lord. Elijah had to pray that God would send down the fire. Amen. Praise the Lord. Young people pray. Amen. Ask that God will send the fire of his spirit into your soul. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. The word says, ask. And the thing about asking is that you just don't ask one time and done. You have to ask again. You have to keep going back. You have to keep asking. When you ask, then you have to seek. Then you have to knock. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. You have to ask with earnesty. And you have to really want it. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. And when you ask of God for the fire of His Holy Spirit. Amen. The fire of God in your belly. God will give it to you because it is according to his will. This is what he wants for you. This is his purpose for you, for me. So let us ask of God. And we can have confidence that he will give us. God bless you.